Welcome to another K40 Mods video. Um, this one is about safety um, with your K40. Um, I'm going to be putting in two mods and uh, a little bit of elbow grease um, for the third thing. Um, the one mod I consider imperative. Um, the second one, um, it's optional. Um, I do it because of the kids. Um, and the elbow grease is uh, an absolute must. Um, back in here, let me show you right in here. I can't get my arm in there. But this is where your case grounding happens. Okay? What you need to do is strip this all apart. Um, and on the inside and the um, inside here and on the back side, uh, sand away all of the paint. Um, so that everything touches all, bare metal. Um, that'll ground your case properly. If you don't do that, you're probably not going to have a very good ground. Um, the, uh, uh, the imperative mod that I consider um, is the laser will fire even with the lid open. Um, let's just take a look at this. Turn it on. Um, so the lid's open. And it's powers ten percent, nothing there, um, but it'll fire, no problem. Um, that's, that's a definite safety hazard. Um, I'm going to be putting in a an interlock, so uh, if the lid's open, the laser won't fire. Um, the other one that is optional, and I'm only doing it because uh, my wife wants me to, and I, it's good for the kids. Um, I'm going to be putting a key switch in here, so. Um, the laser won't fire. Uh, it's a pretty simple procedure. Whether you got a digital dashboard or not, um, digital panel, I mean, um, you know, if you have the old, st the other style with the the uh, the, the, the knob uh, and a a push button for the uh, laser on/off switch, like this one here, um, the other the other switch uh, has wires coming out of it. Instead of tying into where I'm tying into onto the power supply, you can tie into that line right there. Um, and, and do basically the same thing. So what I'm going to be doing is, um, you can see here, um, I broke my jumper, but this, this by default, this comes jumped. Um, and so I just put a jumper cable in to show you. But um, you know, with, with this jump like that, and you test fire the laser, it fires no problem. If you pull the jump, okay, you break the circuit, you try it again, laser won't fire. The light's coming on. It's, it's trying to fire. It's saying it's going to fire, but it's not. It won't fire. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to um, put the switch in here so that if that's open, circuit's open and, and the uh, thing won't fire, uh, we put a uh, the key here and we're going to um, stand the back of that. Um, you know. Anyway, um, let me go build the stuff and uh, I'll bring you back when I get everything all set up and ready for that. All right, welcome back. Um, here's what we're going to put again: this micro switch and this key lock. Um, I already put a key lock in. Um, basically, the first day the laser got here, um, my wife insisted on it um, for the kids. Um, this is what I put in. Um, if you see these on Amazon or wherever. Do not buy them. They're worthless. Um, you know, yeah, it, it turns, but you don't even need a key. You just, you see, it just it turns on and off. A nail file will turn it on and off. These are a junk. Complete waste of time. Don't even bother. Um, go with something better um, if you're worried about that. Um, my wife is, so um, I have to be concerned about that. Okay. Um, First thing we're going to do is uh, test them. Um, this mic the way this micro switch works is this is the main pin, um, and when it's in its open position as it is now, um, this will have continuity. Uh, when it's in a closed position, this loses, and this one will have continuity. So um, we'll just give that a test. Before we build everything, make sure. Make sure everything's uh, working properly. OK. 
Okay, so we have no continuity. And there we go. And I'll show you. Put it on the last, the other pin. Has continuity. Press it. It's closed. All right. Let's try the, the key. And it's working as well. Okay. So, um, in, in between the break here, I measured what I needed um, from the PSU to the interlock. That's this micro switch here uh, to go into this bracket that I made. Um, I need 19 inches. Then from uh, the interlock to the key switch. Um, to go into the wiring harness, um, I need 23, and then from the key switch back down to the PSU, I need 30. So I'm going to cut those up. Um, my my uh, power supply requires uh, these pins, so uh, I'll build that, and uh, we'll get it all wired up. Um, and I'm going to fast forward. Um, you can watch me doing it all, um, but it's pretty boring, so I'm just going to speed it up. And uh, I'll bring you back when we got the loop um, set up and we'll test it. So with the key in the open position and the door and the lid closed, laser will fire. Key off, laser won't fire. The 
Really close key. One. There you go. Okay. Okay. All right. So the circuit's working. Um, I'll bring you back and we'll, we'll go put it in and uh, test it on the machine. I'll see you in a few minutes. Let's see if we can see this. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're dealing with here. Um, it won't be uh, putting any of this plastic back on. Let's get it sanded down. There we go. Enough, that'll do. All right, we're back. Um, all right, let's get this installed. Um, let's see if I can move this without doing too much. I've already put the switch in there. I just got to screw in the pieces. Um, let's do that. matter which one goes where. Okay. Here's the micro switch. Bring it around the back. Put it right here, out of the way, and it, you don't have to screw it in or tape or anything. You just just snaps in, and it it's snug there. And then this piece goes on here. We'll do that in a minute. Um, and all we've got left to do is to plug it in. That's it. I'll, I'll put it into the wiring harness later, but um, and move these wires out of the way. Um, rearrange them a little bit, but we'll just give it a test to make sure she's working properly. Let's see. This just slides on and it's a snug fit, so it will always stay. I don't know if you can hear it clicking, um, but the uh, switch is clicking. All right, let's try it. First thing, put the key in on the on position. Well, let's just put it in the off position first and make sure everything's No laser fire. Can we see that? There we go. No laser fire. Put this down. No laser fire. Turn the key on. Laser fire. Okay, lids up, keys on. No laser fire. There, it's working properly. Let's uh, just do it like it's supposed to. Everything's off. No, no fire. Turn it on. There we go. We got sparks. So that's it. Um, some simple safety measures. Um, uh, stop you from burning your fingers if, as long as you're not uh, circumventing it. Um, 
the only other thing for safety is uh, your earth ground. Um, here in the United States, you know, we have the three prong plugs. Um, you know, some people say um, you don't need them. Um, some people say you do need them. I like to err on the side of caution in case something goes wrong because I have the laser plugged into a, a power bar. You know, if something goes wrong with that um, on, the, on the ground side, the earth ground side, um, you know, I added um, uh, another ground wire to the back of the machine. Um, I'm not going to be rolling the machine around, so um, just a little extra safety. Um, anyway, I hope you found this informative, and uh, you know, uh, if you did, uh, I'd like to hear comments. Um, please subscribe. I got a ton more mods I'm going to be installing. Um, if you watch the uh, channel intro video, you'll see uh, my workbench laid out with uh, tons of different things. Um, so we'll uh, keep going. Um, Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.